Well, welcome to my presentation, Professor. Today we're going to present my lessons and my learned that I have learned with you in the trimester. So, our agenda is going to be creative leadership, uh, what I learned, uh, examples of class assignments, and how I'm going to use my blinder and summarize it of the leadership course, and also lifestyle modification and the energy of the universe, the artist way, non-conventional medicine, diet and health weight loss, modification in my life, and summarizing everything as well. So let's go for the first part. So creative, leader, creative change and the 21st century leader. So a leader always have had change, uh, challenges to be uh, faced for. So what we can think about is, is that this challenge have ever exist. And then the different ways that each one have to approach those. So uh, first they need to identify and control a problem. Uh, so there are many ways to identify the problem. Uh, the best ways are if you can take yourself, yourself out of the problem. So then you can see what's happening. Because if you're inside the problem, you can't. Just like we did in our presentation about uh, the Germans and the Second War. Uh, then turn a problem into opportunity. Uh, a leader cannot be cannot fear the problem. He needs to face down the problem, to go towards the problem, and then to make it happen a solution for that. Uh, align people to support you. Nobody can do anything by himself. So you always need to have someone to help you to do that. Uh, so you need to motivate them to take an action and do what you're guiding to. This is the most important from the leader. I'm not saying that I'm is this leader now, but I can be this leader one day, so it's good to me to know what I'm supposed to be doing for. Why need to work persistently and collaboratively? So, a leader needs to be together with the team and work toward a goal. Then, everything is going to be useful. So, the second one. What I have, what I learned uh, as a summary for my learnings. So when I get in your class, I didn't. I thought there was gonna be something like you know creativity. Oh, we're gonna create some leader uh, leadership style, or we're gonna draw something. I don't know. I didn't have much idea about it. Um, so what I learned was to be able to see things differently, other under others perspective. So everyone has their own reality, and each one can be a leader in their own reality and know the others' realities that way that you can make a team to grow together. So it's, uh, as you said, it's good to step your ego apart and then be together, uh, learn and understand the other. So then uh, you can grow as a team. Uh, be a more positive person. This is something I have ever been. Uh, <clears throat> it's very good to be a positive person. Everything flows with the positiveness. And, and it's very nice to know that uh, I have this skill and a good leader also has this skill. Uh, be more open, be more open to everything because sometimes the answer for one, uh, one problem it's uh, in something that you have no idea about. So you need to be open for realize and for receive others, uh, influencing others uh, ways to, to do and to make a problem uh, be fixed for. Uh, leadership is always changing, the problems are already changing, the world is always changing. Uh, so the leadership must follow this, this it must be going through some way that uh, the problem is going to be solved. And then uh, people or the think and the, the mind of the, everybody is going to change with that. So the theory we learned from your class, the seven transformations in leadership, there is the opportunist, someone that only thinks in himself, the diplomat, someone that is like a glue for the team, but cannot take, uh, cannot criticize others. Uh, expert, someone that have studied about, and then is expert in his field. Uh, achiever, someone that have a goal and do it. Most of us that are here in Canada, we are achievers because we put the goal to be here and we are here in doing that. Uh, individualist is more like your style. You know what to do, but you don't. You want to do by your own rules. I was a little bit like that a uh, long time ago, but not that much anymore. A uh, strategist, someone that have, have a global view of the of uh, everything and, and this and draw the best strategy to have success. And a magician, some, someone more into uh, a spiritual uh, path. 
more, more into uh, spirituality. Uh, and also a transcendent that was not in the seven, but you put in your presentation is this one is like Jesus, Buddha, or someone that is transcendent, is above our uh, comprehension. Uh, other than that, uh, leads, uh, lead needs to engage, empower, and work in a common goal. So the leader needs to engage people so everybody can grow. Because if the other grow, you grow together. Uh, other than that, uh, you need to empower because one person can't do everything. A leader normally do can do about 20% of uh, the process and the other 80% comes from the followers. Uh, so nobody can do anything without followers. Uh, like the success is only together uh, and must work together. So one person that just order and is not into working together is gonna fail. Uh, a leader is a guide of energy. There's energy in the universe. I'm going to speak a little bit more in the next uh, part. But he needs to guide the energy of the group, of the team, for the successful of the uh, project, or for the successful of the life, the person, everything. Uh, other than that, this was very nice, was from the uh, Horvath's presentation. There are times we are leading, and there are times that we are following, and this is uh, some kind of mix. So in some fields we are good, and some other fields we can learn, and we always can learn, because learning is never done. So, uh, it's very important to put ourselves in the way that you can be a leader and a follower as well. Uh, grow self-awareness. This was one of the most important, rule, uh, uh, most important thing I think I have had in your class. For learn and understand more about myself to see where I can be a better person. Uh, example for the class assignments. For the barriers, that was, I think it was the apps the highest I could go with my self-awareness to learn about myself. Uh, leaders on the 20th century, that was nice to see different ways from different people, from different approaches, for every group has had their own leader. Even though my group chose like a dark force of the leadership, and then this was very hard for uh, doing the, like, the uh, environment of the work, uh, the presentation data as well, because uh, it was affecting us, the energy that the, from the leader affect us on during this presentation. Uh, this is also very important, to be connected with the correct energy, to lead correctly. Uh, leadership philosophy, I draw something that I have in my mind, to be coaching, to be helping people, to be able to make the others grow, and then I'm going to grow together, and then uh, everybody can get a better, like can arrive in a more self development uh, as a person and uh, this was very important for me I realized that uh, after my presentation as well so how am I going to using my blinder the future the future nobody knows what's gonna happen but me my blinder I want to read all books uh, I want to put the quotations under my perspective under my mind and uh, I want to keep tracking how I'm improving I don't know if I'm going to do weekly or I'm going to do monthly, but I need to be improving all the time. So this is something that I'm going to uh, do. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep in writing the blinder, but I sure, I'm sure I'm going to do it by myself inside of me as well. Uh, summarizing the uh, leadership class, a uh, good coach will make people see what they can be rather than what they are. So this was the main idea from your course for me. You, you make me see what I can be. Uh, but uh, but uh, not what I are, not uh, what I am. And then learn are more about myself, what I learned more about my, myself, and how to be a better person. So this is the main idea from this class. How I can be a better person, how I can make more for the universe and for the people around me. Uh, I need to cut the video because of my camera, but I'm going to come to the second part now. Okay. Let's go for the second part of my presentation, uh, lifestyle modification for community leaders, time for change. So that was approach for this class. Uh, the first thing we, we learned, studied about that was the energy of the universe and how this energy affects us. So if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. Uh, this was something I always knew and I could uh, study a little bit more and I can also I'll, can keep studying about. So how the power of the energy of the universe can help us 
and lead us uh, to do what we need to do and can lead us to have a better health as well. So the first thing I'm gonna say is about the artist way. When I saw that book, there was a like this size book. I'm not used to read a lot of books. Uh, I recognize I need to read more. Uh, and then uh, there was about my other class about creativity, and I didn't know that when I got the book. So recovering creativity to the higher connection. So the connection we've got, a person can recover himself and can be uh, more creative in all fields of their life. And then uh, there was uh, two uh, uh, two uh, commitments, uh, morning pages, that is a kind of meditation. So we don't need to do the morning pages, but if we do meditation, we can grow. And also the artist day is time for yourself. So you have to have time for yourself, in solitude, so you can grow by yourself. Uh, rising self-awareness, uh, this is something very important. You need to know better yourself, where is your uh, weakness and where is your strength. And then you can work to be, to, uh, don't, uh, to be better and then to don't have the weakness anymore and to be a better person as well. Uh, cleaning energy fields, so blocking the uh, negative energy that affect us, that interrupt us to be useful in our lives as well. Uh, create, uh, cleaning environmental blocks, so this is the environment. The other person said, you can't, uh, you are going to be doing other things, you're going to fail on that. And then you put in your mind, oh, he, he said, I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail. And then you think this is the reality. But no, you can do everything you want to do. You just need to connect yourself with the uh, true energy of what you want to do and take this block out. And then you can be useful in your life as well. So connecting with God, this is the key. So it, as much as you're connected with God, as much as you're going to be useful in your life and going to be a healthy person and going to be a better person as well. So with the objective, the main objective of the book was to recover the basic sense of self-being. So if you are good with yourself, you're going to be good for others. But if you're bad with yourself, you're not going to be good for others. You can show, but inside of you, you're not going to be uh, really uh, truthful how you're going to, how is uh, everything inside of you. So you need to be good inside of you to be a better person as well. So, other than that, there was uh, non-conventional medicine. So, Ayurveda, homeopathic, uh, enzymotherapy, acupuncture, aromatherapy, reflexology, essential oils, guide imaginary, Reiki, chiropractic, yoga, and Tai Chi. We have uh, had uh, like a presentation for each one of those topics from our colleagues and for myself as well. Uh, I really like it. Uh, I'm not going to expl explain about all of them. So, Ayurveda comes from India. It's like... They change the dietary, and then uh, they have some uh, um, different lifestyle. It's a very nice uh, way to uh, have health as well. Homeopathic, they use the uh, a little bit of the poison, but in very very small quantity in that small balls to uh, make a person have a, a, a way to heal the person from uh, himself. I I used to take homeopathic when I was a small kid in my Brazil and from my mom. She used to give it to me. Uh, enzyme therapy, so the enzymes that are uh, in the universe from the, uh, the, from the food, uh, from the uh, herbs and everything, they act inside of you and they heal yourself as well. Acupuncture is something very cool. I always like it. I probably am going to study a little bit more in deep. Uh, that is the way that you clean the blocks uh, through the meridians and through the uh, chakras and a person can have a more uh, 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 don't feel pain and sometimes even her recover and something nice in the class uh, it helps also a, a, a woman to have a baby so it, it becomes the, the woman is going to become more fertile uh, with the acupuncture treatment as well uh, aromatherapy this is something nice I have in my house you can show over there please uh, my wife and I always lo loved to have like, uh, aromas and these aromas they act inside of your, yourself some, some ones go through your brain, some others go through other places of your body, and then they heal ourself, ourselves too. So this is a very nice uh, uh, approach as well. Reflexology, I haven't, I haven't done yet. I know how it works. It's uh, from the points in your hands and your feet, that each point is uh, one organ, and then you touch this point, and then you can help to recover the half of this organ. This is something also very cool. Uh, essential oils, so there is a, a different kind of oils and this is an ancient, since the uh, Egypt, uh, uh, ancient Egypt, they have been using oils to heal persons and this is a very nice uh, uh, approach as well. 
guys, imaginary, there was something that I have never thought about. It's like you see what you want to be or what you want to do, and then a person acts according with their uh, imagine they have in their minds. So this is very cool, uh, especially for sports. The presentation for sports was very nice, and that was using guide imaginary as well. Hey, Key, that was my presentation, how you get the forces of the universe through your hands uh, in the chakra of other persons to unblock and to make them uh, more healthy as well. Uh, chiropractic, I have done once with a, a friend. He's a master in chiropractic in Brazil. And then he took my body and make like that. And then I feel much better after that. That was very cool. He put out my uh, spine in the correct uh, way. And he took my, my uh, organs that was uh, inside me, of my, 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 my belly, uh, out of my bones. That was very hard. But it was very helpful for me at that time. I was not feeling very well. Now I'm very good. Uh, yoga and Tai Chi. So movements that balance the chakras and then balance uh, uh, the energy in yourself. And you can heal and you can have more, be a better person and uh, healthier with that. Um, so this was the, I think that was the highest learning I have done in your class. Diet and health weight loss. It affects a lot for me. It was a new learning. It was a new approach, a new way that I can uh, even uh, work with that. Like being a coaching is something that I'm considering highly after your classes. Uh, so you can have more balance in the life of a person. Uh, with relationship, career, healthy food, fun fitness and spirituality and home environment. Everything is a whole approach, a holistic approach to heal a person. Um, the, this was the presentation I did. I feel very comfortable. I learned a lot, more than I was expecting for, for a, such a kind of subject. And uh, what happened was that presentation changed my life. That presentation made me change in a way that I'm, not, I'm going to the market and I cannot buy everything anymore. This is very bad, so, or good. <laughs> uh, I am changing the, the uh, nutriment of my home. My, my wife is having better uh, meals because I'm saying that we cannot go from there. We need to change. Then, if I don't change myself, I cannot help others to change. So first I need to change by myself for be a better and, and, and healthier uh, environment in our house. So food was one uh, subject. The second one is a meditation through the exercise. And, and exercise is something I'm missing a lot because I'm not doing much now. And I, I'm probably going back to that as soon as I can uh, next trimester. And then I'm gonna go back to practice karate and to uh, uh, have a more a better health as well. Uh, and coaching, I learned that I can coach people, uh, teaching them to be more healthier as well. And this is something that I'm, you may probably see myself in the future doing that. Oh, I'm gonna see the magazine. Oh, they are my student. Oh, can you come and do a, a lecture for me in my class? Maybe I can. Probably I will. Okay, done. And then. Uh, you can have more uh, balance in your life, in your family, in your career, in the health, in your friends. So everything, it's a holistic approach. So everything goes, uh, can be throwing, uh, can be going with a good energy and you're going to be healthier and everything is going to be better for your life as well. This is what the change that came to my, my mind and my life. Uh, summarizing, uh, the universe gives us everything we need to heal. So the energy, God has created everything. He can heal everything he wants. And the energy of the universe can do that for us too. Uh, our lifestyle affects our health. So if a person is drinking, smoking, or doing things that are bad for their health, they are gonna get sick. One day or in the future, or they're gonna be, they're not gonna have healthy food. So if they have a good health lifestyle, uh, they're gonna be more healthy and they're gonna have a better life. Uh, diseases are caused by block energy and imbalance, by body energy imbalance. That was something nice. I didn't realize that till I learned it in your class. That the energy in your body, uh, if it is blocked, it can cause, cause us uh, some sickness. So it's important to have a, a better uh, uh, flow of energy in our bodies. Uh, alternative medicine and uh, remedies are good option. Uh, I'm saying remedies here. Uh, it's like uh, um, herbs. Uh, or the stones, I, how can I know that? I didn't ever knew that I put a stone on the moon and the stone is going to be renewed. The energy of the stone that kills a person is going to be uh, purified in the stone. That was something I have never idea. And I need to work a little bit more. And my wife is doing some face. How do you know that in, in, the, in her face now? Uh, and the last one, 
uh, food is directly related with our health. So this is something that uh, I'm going to keep studying, I'm going to keep improving, I'm going to keep developing my house. And later on I can help other people as well. Uh, how to have a better life and how to have a better, uh, um, healthier and the happiest uh, way of living. Uh, well, I want to say thank you for you, professor. I grow a lot in your class. I learned a lot of things that I have no idea about. Um, some of my quotation I found on the internet and I said, oh, this is the closing of everything of my cycle in this trimester is that what we learned with pleasure, we never forget. So for sure, I will never forget what I learned from you this time. And uh, hopefully to see you uh, later on in the university or in the streets or there's Vancouver is a small city and then we can chat and take some coffee with no caffeine, okay? Or just a light black tea. Thank you very much and see you soon.